talking about the way people traveled, of course, back in those days, they traveled by horse and buggy. Uh, these days, we have other ways of traveling. Uh, we use automobiles. And I've got an example over here of something that shows how an automobile engine works. Doesn't look very much like an automobile engine, does it? It's a little plastic bottle, and down in the bottom is a little bit of ordinary alcohol, like you would have at home. And you can imagine that's like the gasoline. And you can imagine this is like the cylinder in your car. And so when I shake it, some of that alcohol vaporizes, and we get some alcohol vapor here. Now, as you know, in the engine in your car, you need to add a little air. So let's add some air. <coughs> now we've got some air in there. Then we're going to put the cork on. Now, the cork is like the piston in the cylinder of your car. Now, of course, in your car, you have a spark plug. So we need a spark plug. And in fact, there are two screws, one on either side. And they come almost to the point where they touch inside. And there's a point on them. And so we need a way to make a spark. And I have here a thing called a Tesla coil. You'll see a big one of these in a little while. But it's a small Tesla coil that makes a spark. You can see the sparks. And if I take this and hold it to one of those nails, or one of those screws, it blew the cork off. Now, you may say that it's not very much like a gas any gasoline engine I've seen, but indeed, that's exactly what happens in your automobile. You have little explosions that are always going on inside the cylinders of your car, and uh, they're happening uh, hundreds of times every second. And they're pushing not a cork, but they're pushing the piston that turns the crankshaft, and eventually it makes the wheels go around.